Hello viewers, today I am going to show you how to edit outdoor portrait in very easy way. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button. So let's go through the topic. For the first, we have to make a copy of this background layer by pressing Ctrl J. So this is the copied layer. Now I'm going to select this subject by quick selection tool. The subject is selected. Now we have to go for refined edge and therefore I'm clicking on select and mask. So if you're using Photoshop CC 2015 or the before versions, you have to go to the select and go to the refined edge. Here I am using Photoshop CC 2018, therefore there is no option of refined edge. Therefore I'm going to select and mask. And here you are seeing the refined edge brush tool and I'm taking this refined edge brush tool and giving the edge detection radius around 42. Now just increase the cursor and brush on the outer side of the subject. Almost we have done our selection, therefore I am clicking on OK. So here we are seeing the subject is selected, but some ripples are on the outer side of the subject. Therefore I am going to remove this ripples by pressing Alter and click on this rippled area. So I think this is okay now. Now I'm taking a layer mask for this layer and just invisible the previous background layer. And here we are seeing the only background is selected. Now just click on control and on this layer masked area. Here we are seeing the selection area is again selected. Therefore, I'm going to invisible on this layer and visible in this previous layer and going to previous layer. Now I'm going to edit, fill and give the content aware and click OK. Now you're seeing the selected area is vanished and the subject is vanished. Therefore, we have to adjust this ripple properly. So right here I'm going to the selection and I'm going to deselect it. Now I'm taking the spot healing brush tool, increasing it a little bit and just brushing on this area where the spots are remaining. So now if you visible this layer, it looks like this and if you unvisible this, it looks like this. So I'm going to make a little bit blur on background. Therefore just select the background layer and going to filter, blur gallery and tilt shift. And I'm increasing the blur radius around 109, around 109. And now I'm going to repositioning this blurred area. Therefore, I'm dragging it down. I think now it looks a little bit realistic than before. But just click on OK. So now I'm going to adjust the color. Therefore I'm clicking on the background layer and taking a new adjustment layer on the background layer. 
which is selective color and I'm just doing clipping mask for the background layer and taking the colors yellow and giving the sign a little bit negative portion around 57 is okay and increasing the magenta a little bit now going to the color green also decreasing the cyan and increasing magenta a little bit so I think this color is okay now. Now I have to work for the screen. Therefore I'm going to the filter and taking the portrait editor filter. So this is the difference. This was previous and this will after. For the portrait editor therefore i'm clicking on ok now i'm just going to take a light on this image therefore i'm taking a new layer and taking the foreground color a little bit yellowish and give the opacity around 100 percent and take the soft brush and just increase the brush and click on on the middle of this artboard now just reposition this light properly by pressing ctrl T and I'm going to make the blending mode to screen now I'm just decreasing the opacity a little bit I think a little bit and I think a little bit right portion on the subject will looks good therefore I'm clicking on this subject layer and just dragging it a little bit right side I think now this is okay if you reposition it properly then Let's see what happened. I think this is perfect. Now I want to make the screen color more dramatic. Therefore I'm taking another layer and taking the foreground color red. And take the brush tool and just brush it like before the light layers. and increase the size of this layer and now just keep the blending mode to overlay and decrease the opacity of this layer Okay, if we make this layer only for this subject layer, it will look very good. Therefore, I'm dragging it on the top of this subject layer and just right click on this layer and click on create clipping mask. So this mask is only work for the subject layer therefore we are seeing this red area is only works on this subject so this was before and this is after now let's see what happened if we change the blending mode to soft light from overly so if you change uh, if you make it soft light then it looks very good and it get a proper skin tone so this was before on skin and this is after so if you just decrease the opposite a little bit i think it will looks good so this is all about our tutorial today hope you have liked this video so please 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 don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please 
keep commenting and liking on my videos. Thank you.